Hey friend, in this video, we are painting a shibori tie-dye, diamondy type thing. Um, I'm showing you how I painted this exact backdrop or print that I made for my Case to Buy collection. We have the link below for you if you wanna buy this phone case. Um, but a lot of people really, really love this print. So we thought we'd make it into a tutorial so you can do it yourself. And if you know how to scan and digitize your own work, then you can make this into your own products too. Um, so yeah, let's dive into the tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial, we are, I'm gonna be showing you how I created this print that is on one of my Case Defy phone cases. And uh, basically all you gotta do, we want that like blurry washy effect with these lines and this kind of tie-dye shibori pattern. Um, so what we're gonna do to get that blurred effect is lay down a layer of water first. So I'm gonna grab my biggest brush, which I have a size 16 round Princeton Heritage 4050 brush. I'm grabbing lots and lots of water to make sure the entire first or bottom layer is really saturated with water. If any section of this layer gets dry, I'll go back over it with water because once we start adding those lines for the shibori effect, um, in order for it to be blurry, it needs to be wet and wet painting. So if the bottom layer dries and you put a line on top, that's gonna be wet on dry and you won't get that blurred effect. It'll just be a hard line. So we're going back over areas that look like they're kind of drying out. And I'm just creating a wet, I'm not gonna use my whole paper. So I'm just gonna, you know, just do a little rectangle section. Doesn't have to be precise lines. You can obviously use your whole paper if you want to. Uh, my scanner is nine by 12 and this is a nine by 12 sheet of paper. So I like to paint smaller than my scanner so that I don't have any cut off edges if I'm gonna use this in a collection or whatever. And then from here, once we have this wet layer, I'm grabbing my size six brush, some cobalt blue for this misty blue color. I'm gonna grab some cobalt blue, a little bit of Prussian blue, some sap green, just some touches, and maybe some brown to make it a little bit smoky. A little more cobalt. And then we're just going to start with some straight lines first. You see how painting wet and wet gives it that blurred line. So I'm going about an inch between each line, stopping in some spots and making it explode a little more. Trying to go real fast. So all of my lines, all of my vertical lines, horizontal lines, and diagonal lines get to go on some wet background. Now we're gonna go horizontal and do the same exact thing. Eyeballing at about an inch apart. And now I'm doing my diagonal lines. So I'm gonna start with this one in the middle from corner to corner, so I know where my other ones go. And it's okay. If it's not matching up, just trying to go through corners as much as I can. Okay. 
And then I'll go over some spots and make the, accentuate those dots a lot more by just poking. There you have it. So because I was able to paint really quickly, all of our lines stayed blurry. That's why you need to make sure you have a really, really wet base layer and you paint really quickly. So not all your lines are gonna be perfect. They're not gonna be perfectly straight, spaced out, or even in the right spot. But with the blurred effect and the more lines you add, the more it's gonna look like a fun shibori kind of tie-dye look. There you have it. Very, very simple, but beautiful. And if, you know, I just want this print on all of my things, my bedding, my dish towels, my shirts, my bath towels, my shower curtains, and whatever other things you make in your products. So shop this link below through Casetify. I am very, very proud of this collection. It has so many fun prints in it. Um, thought I would teach you kind of the behind the scenes process of how I paint my licensing project prints, my programs that I do. So we took a couple out of the Case Five collection to show you. If you didn't see last week's tutorial, I showed you how to paint this floral piece, which is also in the Case Five collection as a print. So make sure you check out that tutorial. It is a very fun when I teach you how to paint these florals. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite print out of my entire Case to Fry collection is in the comments below. So if you haven't seen it yet, we have the link in the description of this video. Click on it, go browse. You don't have to shop, although I would appreciate the support. And I think your tech, your tech definitely should be dressed up and look cute. And it's very protective actually. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but let me know in the comments below what your favorite print from the collection was. And if you we get enough votes for it, maybe that'll be our next tutorial. Show you how to paint whatever it is you choose. Until then, see you next time. <laughs>